speak about international law. Do I get excited? Of course I get excited. I get excited all the time. I get angry because of the hypocrisy, the duplicity, the insanity of the left. It's so obscene. It's unbelievable. And they get away with it. Donald Trump, in, under three years of Donald Trump, several of his associates were put in prison. Flynn, um, Manafort, others. Eight years of Obama, no one went to prison. Eight years. They destroyed America. In eight years, they destroyed America more than the Soviet Union in 70 years. Do I make myself clear? I uh, couldn't be. I, uh, I've just sent the two of you um, a, a photo. There's a photo of, of the, the general, and the caption reads, uh, are you going to send a pallet of cash like Obama did? <laughs> I know. And then I know. Yeah, there's yeah. a picture of uh, President Trump saying, yeah, <laughs> wait at the airport. <laughs> and wait at the airport. That is fantastic. <laughs> well, I said... Unbelievably true. But, Donald uh, Trump well, is the, sorry. Donald Trump is the only leader in the world who has the backbone to do this. What what he's doing? The only leader. Nobody else is equal to him. And they think he's stupid. They are stupid. I said it before. I repeat it again now. Donald Trump is the three-dimensional chess player. He has been playing those bastards fiddle for three years. They spent a billion dollars, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Before Trump was elected, they spent a billion dollars supporting him by the interviews that they conducted for him. Did you know that? He didn't spend a penny. They interviewed him again and again and again, every single one of them. They, he saved a billion dollars by that. And they are the ones who created him, and then they want to destroy him. It won't happen. Donald Trump is a genius. Donald Trump is a patriot. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He, how, why did he come to this position? Simple. First, he made America independent from oil and gas from anybody else in the world. Nobody can threaten her. Second, he made America with two and a half trillion dollars militarily, practically indestructible. With these two, there is no nation on earth who can stand up to America. So when Iran was threatening, you know, most of these leftists, I swear to you, they have no brain. They are brain dead. There's no question. I mean, I have absolutely no doubt about it when I say but, it. But, I, but I, I, Q, let, let me jump in here and ask you the point. I mean, um, the, the argument's going to be made, well, they back down now, but the, they'll, they'll uh, strike us at some point. Uh, someplace else a couple of months from now. Well, absolutely true. They will. But they would have done it anyway. They've been doing it for 40 years. What's the bloody problem? You keep, people keep forgetting. Under Carter, when the American embassy was invaded, that was an act of war. Am I raising my voice? Yes. I wanted to penetrate this stupidity or stupid brains of Americans. It was an act of war by international law, if we talk about international law. They breached American sovereign territory. International law is only as good as, uh, as long as you're willing to enforce it. Ah. Be... International law is as good only when you are powerful. When you are meek, you are six feet under. There is no international law for the meek. None doesn't exist. This is why when America is powerful, she doesn't have to go to war. When somebody is powerful, he doesn't have to prove himself by going to a fight. The fact that he is powerful, it's enough. Nobody will touch him. Today, America is powerful. Under Trump. But IQ, yeah. why, why are not the, the European nations uh, understanding that? They do. Uh, they do, but they're traitors. They're spineless. I'm not kidding with you. Honestly, I'm, I'm interrupting you because we don't have much time. They are spineless. America saved Europe in World War One, saved Europe in World War II, saved Europe for 70 years from Soviet Union. And what did they do for America? Stab her in the back every time. Every single time they stabbed her in the back, even in Vietnam. But people don't study. People don't want to use their brain. They sit on their bloody brain. 
In terms of people, I'm talking about 80% of the people. Today, if you bring 80% of young people in America, they know nothing about the American Constitution. Nothing. It's the disgrace. And the fault is not with the students. The fault is not with the teachers. The fault is with their bloody parents who never care about what they're Teach, what the teachers are teaching their children. I cared about my children what they were being taught. I cared. I, I was on top of it all the time. They didn't care. For 60 years, the leftists have been indoctrinating your children and your grandchildren and your grand-grandchildren into hating America, into disrespecting the Constitution, into forgetting about God. Am I right or am I wrong? Well, you won't get an argument on and on this um, uh, program, IQ. But but if you go out there uh, and talk to the w world in general, it it uh, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, but don't don't with all due respect. When I have a conversation with somebody face to face, I impel them. Believe me, every single time, I impel them by with simple questions. The simplest question is the deadliest question. Was Soleimani a, 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 a terrorist? Answer is yes. Was it legitimate to kill a terrorist in a country which doesn't belong to him? Yes. He had not only American blood. In the last few months in Iraq, he had 1,500 Iraqis, the blood of 1,500 Iraqis, who came in an uprising against the Shia government of Iraq. He is guilty of tens of thousands of dead in Iran. So what are we discussing? What, Pelosi, piece of shit, or any of her associates? Who are they? They're traitors. Every single one in the Democrat Party is a traitor, by definition. How is it, by definition? Anybody who says open borders, illegal immigrants are equal, if not superior, to legals, this is treason. Only in the warped mind of a human being is this not treason. It is treason. And anybody who believes in these things should never, ever be in a position in any political station. Again, we agree not because you support me. We agree because I'm telling you the truth. I'm raising facts. Anybody who wants to go against me, he's got to prove me wrong based on facts, not on perception. I don't give a damn about perception. I don't give a damn somebody, in my opinion, to hell with you and your bloody opinion. Because on any subject, I can bring you one and a half billion opinions. Yeah, but, but we're on IQ. Uh, uh, you and I, we're, we're here to provide information to people so that they can ma make informed de Absolutely. De decisions. Yeah. We don't <laughs> force it down anybody's throat. We don't force it down anybody's throat. In every case, I always say, this is chapter and verse, this is what the Quran says. Prove me wrong. Well, I'd like to switch the subject if I can. Of um, course, go on. Yes, um, go I, ahead, Don. Well, I'm looking at a, um, a story out of, out of a website. Glacier National Park quietly removes its gone by 2020 signs. You know, the, for years they said that all of the glaciers from Glacier National Park would be gone by 2020. Well, they're still there. Uh, in fact, they're, they're bigger today than they were uh, five years ago. So, um, uh, again, it, it just proves, I think, the, the, the maxim that uh, uh, there is climate change, but not necessarily climate warming. And uh, again, all of this that we're doing, uh, to me, has very little uh, effect on the cycle. No matter what we do, and in the end, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. What do you say to that, IQ? I, I agree with you. Good God. Nature has infinitely more power than we bloody human beings. We are only eight, what are we, eight and a half, nine billion? Nothing. We're nothing. True, we damage the environment. There is absolutely no doubt we add to the destruction of the environment. We agree. But it's not enough to change the weather. That's out of the question. It's colossal. The amount of energy required to change the weather, weather is beyond human comprehension. 
not changing the subject. For years, Israel had no, no rain. In the last few weeks, why Israel? Because these are, uh, op you know, op opposites. They haven't had rain for a long, long time. Yesterday, they had four inches of rain, of rain in two days. In two days. And day after tomorrow, they're having eight inches of rain, which is unheard of ever. So in some countries, they're flooded. In other countries, they're burning to death. And the reason they're burning to death is because they haven't taken care of the forests. Donald Trump was absolutely right when that piece of garbage, the governor of California, uh, accused him of being stupid. He mm. is stupid. They never... By the way, I do. can I say that uh, uh, I just uh, talked to somebody in Washington who believes he will be the Democratic candidate, the presidential candidate? He will be. Uh, that doesn't matter. You can put the donkey also to be in, in the presidential candidate with the do Democrats. By the way, the reason the emblem of the Democrats is a, de is a, a mule, because they are mules. Have you ever think, thought about it? What is their emblem? The Democrat Party, what is it? A donkey, no? Yeah. So, because they're donkeys, for God's sake. But the, uh, the point yeah. being... Yes, who, who, was, who, who, was, who was this, this, this person you talked to? Well, um, I, I, I'm just throwing something out at you that was thrown out of me. Um, uh, I guess it was last night or yesterday, but um, uh, the the, Demo the all of the candidates, including Mike, uh, Michael Bloomberg, have planted themselves selves so much to the left. You've heard me say that before, but uh, but coming from this particular individual, I was surprised to hear him say this. He thought that the the only way that the Democratic Party stood a chance. In, uh, in this year was that they br brought in a totally new candidate. And that is uh, uh, becoming a striking, a, uh, a recurring theme throughout um, uh, the, the higher democratic circles. And the, the proof of the pudding is that they're predicting that no one will come out of Super Tuesday with a, a clear majority lead. I'm Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm just uh, passing on what I heard. And, and so what, do you, I'm what, do you think? what do you think? Do you think somebody would come a winner? Out of that? I don't, yeah. No. I oh. think they'll go to convention. I think Mike Bloomberg thinks that they can go to convention and uh, he can emerge as the compromise candidate. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, it's... Uh, they, more and more, I, I keep hearing it's the uh, California uh, governor. Uh, if, 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 as it's becoming more apparent, if there has to be a sacrificial lamb, he would be the one because then he could be positioned for 2024. Just uh, passing on. Yeah, yeah. I... Uh, yeah, they can they can dream from here to eternity. The, most, the Ayatollahs were dreaming when they were setting America. I mean, no rational human being. I'm talking about rational human beings in, in the position where the Ayatollahs are. Should ever threaten in America. America doesn't have to put one single soldier on the soil of Iran, not one boot. In 48 hours, they can completely and utterly destroy the Iranian subs military system. Completely in 48 hours. Am I exaggerating? The answer is no. How, how do you say that? What do you mean, how do I say that? Based on knowledge, what do we have? What do they have? What will they do? Who? Uh, Who? How do you do it in 48 so, hours? No, what? America will destroy them with missiles, with cruise missiles, with ballistic missiles. What are we discussing? What are we discussing? This is not a war game. This is war. America knows exactly where everything else, where every single soldier is in, in Iran. They know that. You watch the program when they were hunting at Baghdadi. That was not figment of imagination. That was real time. America knows exactly where everything is. 
they don't always tell you. They show you pictures of a damaged area from about 30,000 feet. They can read a newspaper from space. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. They can read a newspaper from space. And they used to do that 30 years ago. So what are we discussing? No, you will not need to put a single soldier on Iranian soil. Why? What do you need it for? You're not invading them. You're trying to destroy the infrastructure of the military. You do that by remote control. Literally, everything by remote control. What they have in Air Force is ancient, 40 years old. Even the new ones are only 20 years old. What are we discussing, for God's sake? It's like a, a mouse trying to threaten an elephant. There are mouse, by the way. If you look at the map of Iran, there are at least 15 air bases surrounding Iran belong to America. In Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Uzbekistan, all over the bloody place. In Iraq, in Syria, in Israel. What are we discussing? They threaten Israel? They should be ashamed of themselves. They are a nation of 80 million, 800,000 square miles, against 8 million with 8,000 square miles. And they are shouting and screaming. What are they bragging about? It's a 10 to 1. But they are shouting and screaming. And what do they think the Israelis will sit down and be slaughtered and do nothing? No, you know, these people don't think they are emotional human beings. Throughout history, Islam has been emotional, not Russia. Throughout history. And that's not an exaggeration. It's a fact. They're saber rattling all the time. And what happened is the Europeans being spineless, and the previous administrations were also spineless, did nothing. Oh, they're going to attack us. But they're attacking you anyway. By the way, while we are talking about this subject, I'm always concerned about Christians. They are slaughtering Christians, they've been slaughtering Christians in Africa, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in the Arab world, and nobody says anything in the news media. Not a single person in Congress says anything, in both sides, by the way, both sides of the aisle. I wonder why. But if you slap a Muslim, ah, Islamophobia. Tell me, please. Both of you, could you explain to me this anomaly? Why the Christian blood is okay, Muslim blood is not okay. Tell me, please. Hmm. Well, let, let, let's go on to another subject. Yes. Um, uh, if I may. You know, you know, every day that Nancy Pelosi, uh, Pelosi delays the impeachment, uh, she loses more and more support amongst the public, and more and more um, uh, about uh, uh, from from her congressional leaders. Some of the, uh, you know, some of the uh, Congress people. I've I've been told again. I've been told this. Um, came back and were surprised at the depth of how people felt that it was wrong of the impeachment. But more important, more importantly, as the days go by and she doesn't transmitted, uh, people are beginning to say, well, um, you, you, you impeach, but now you don't want a trial. So um, I believe that uh, ultimately the whole thing is going to backfire on the Democrats. What do you th think, IQ? No, no, I apologize. I apologize. Go ahead. No, they, are, they, are, they have already lost. By the way, he is not impeached. He is impeached if she submits the documents to to right. the Senate. She's not impeached yet. Do I do I read the Constitution right or no? Only if she sends the documents to the Senate, he's impeached, and they go to trial. But she didn't do that. She hasn't done anything, and the more she delays, the worse it becomes to, for her. By the way, she cornered herself. The idiot. She cornered herself. She wants to tell the Senate now how to behave. No, sorry, McConnell said, you had the House, you did it. You don't tell me what to do. 
I'm selling. I do what I need to do. He's right, 100%. She is a loser. Because all of them are losers, honestly, not only her. I cannot find a single one of these leftists, so-called Democrats, not one, with two brain cells of logic. I swear, not one of them. Not one. Anybody who is for open borders, illegal immigrants, as far as I'm concerned, and I know it sounds very dangerous to say, I put them against the wall and shoot them dead. But I'll say it anyway, because that's how I feel. Treason of the first degree. Not second degree, first degree. So, and more and more black people, by the way, this is the remarkable part now, and the news media don't tell you about it either. At least 30% of black people would be 44 Trump. At least 30%. In, nine, in 2016, he had 8% maximum. It's a, it's a landslide. It's a landslide. There's no problem. The economy is beautiful. Unemployment is fantastic. Respect for America is greater now than ever before in the history of America. Respect. They say he is unpredictable. Not at all. Donald Trump was never unpredictable. Why? He said, I shall do X, Y, Z, T. Got into power, he did X, Y, Z, T. So how is he unpredictable? Please tell me. How? The only unpredictable is because they didn't expect him to fulfill what he promised. Yes. That's it. You, you, you hit it on, uh, you hit the nail on the head that time, IQ. God bless you. Where uh, I, I, IQ, I've got to uh, kind of shuffle off on this, uh, uh, unfortunately, early. But I, um, I want to just talk one more uh, subject, which is um, I've, I've seen uh, more surveys uh, in the last five or six days indicating that Americans feel uh, very confident about um, business-wise, but um, the media has thrown such a doubt into them that they say, I'm confident, but they're worried about the economy. Well, what do you say to that, IQ? Well, it's look. The economy, as you know, it can go really, really beautiful and something goes wrong all of a sudden. But the way it has been going on since he took up uh, power, it's been going positive all the way. Every single month is going positive. They can always say, yes, it will go wrong. Of course it can go wrong, obviously. But in, a, in war, it can go wrong. In politics, it can go wrong. In your health, it can go wrong. You go to the hospital for an operation on, on your thumb, God, will, God forbid, you end up, you have to lose your arm. <laughs> it can go wrong. We don't, you, the imponderable is imponderable. <laughs> Those people who went on the flight from Iran, they shouldn't have been dead. Two minutes later, they're dead. What are we discussing? Well, and the news media, when you speak about the news media, I don't want to hear. I really don't care what they say. I never did. Never. But, but, but many people do. Jiggy, yeah. I got to yeah. jump off over here. Not I'm a sorry. problem. Not a problem. Uh, but before we let you go, Don, how do we find you online and everything? The National Robotics Education Foundation, you know, that's close to my heart, the hyphen nref.org, uh, uh to SB Digest. Those are the ways you can uh, reach me, find it.